But it's not just players who shine in the Copa Libertadores. Managers too earn plaudits and become stars in their own right. A host of managers have made their careers in South American tournaments, then gone on to coach European or international sides. Oscar Tabares won the Copa Libertadores once before taking the Uruguayan national team to the 2010 World Cup semi-finals. Carlos Bilardo won the Copa Libertadores three times before going on to win the 1986 World Cup as manager of Argentina. Luis Felipe Scolari won the Copa Libertadores twice, then helped win the 2002 World Cup for Brazil. But when the 17-year-old Marcelo Gajardo first stepped onto the pitch for River Plate in 1993, nobody would have expected him to become, by 2018, one of the club's and South America's most successful managers. As a central midfielder, his style, technique and precision helped him to win a host of league titles for Argentine, French and Uruguayan clubs. As a manager, though, Gajardo is in his element with River Plate. He took over management of River Plate in 2014, bringing back previously relegated players like Carlos Sanchez and Rodrigo Mora. He won the 2014 Copa Sudamericana the South American equivalent of the Europa League, with River having an incredible unbeaten run in the competition. This gained River Plate entry to the 2015 Copa Libertadores. That was a challenging tournament. I've made a video discussing the details of River's win that year. They went from the lowest ranked club in the competition to the winners. Gajardo had brought River their second Copa Libertadores title and became the only River manager to have played in the tournament in 1996 and won it in 2015. Gajardo himself showed as a player, and now shows as a manager, a remarkable ability to predict how moments in games will unfold. He emphasises visualisation and awareness. His tactics are undeniably characteristic of South American football. On the attack, he employs pace, flexibility and fluidity. In defence, however, he emphasises discipline and cohesion. He ensures his players work together and have both great stamina and awareness, with the objective being to transition from attack to defence rapidly and to ensure numerical superiority in each part of the pitch during each part of the game. He employs a variety of formations, most commonly a 4-4-2 or a 4-1-2-3. In both formations, he emphasises wide wingers who can support the striker or strikers, either by crossing the ball or by acting as inside forwards who can make runs on goals themselves. The aim is a fluid attack. In the midfield, he uses narrower, attacking players as advanced playmakers who can find holes in opposition defence and distribute the ball quickly to the forwards. In every formation, he aims to ensure a quick transition where needed. Using box-to-box -box fullbacks, he guarantees overwhelming numbers in attack and defence. Gajardo is at the technical forefront of the game. He has employed neuroscientists and sports psychologists to ensure his players are best able to visualise the match. Awareness of the game and the ability to predict what will happen next is a key factor for River Plate's players, according to Gajardo himself. These very methods help Gajardo take River Plate to the 2018 Copa Libertadores, where, fighting their way to the finals, they face their century-old hated foes, Boca Juniors. A matchup of immense proportions, the Copa Libertadores final as a Super Classico. Drawing in the first leg at La Bombonera, the second leg had to be delayed. Hey! 
River's more intense supporters had attacked the Boca Juniors team bus as it made its way to El Monumental for the second leg. So, the second leg was played at the Bernabeu in Madrid. The first time a Copa Libertadores final had been played outside South America. After 90 minutes, the game was won all, and so headed into extra time. Juan Quintero and Gonzalo Martinez scored two goals in extra time to give River the win. Marcelo Gallardo is on the field. The coach, the brain, the master of this team. This was the second Copa Libertadores title under Gajardo as manager and perhaps the club's most important title to date. River is the champion of the Copa Conmebol Libertadores. The 2018 Copa Libertadores drew immense attention to Marcelo Gajardo and a range of plaudits. He was named the 2018 South American Coach of the Year. He was listed as the second best coach in the world, behind it Barcelona's Ernesto Valverde, and ahead of such luminaries as Atletico Madrid's Simeone, Juventus's Allegri, and Liverpool's Jurgen Klopp. Today, Gajardo ranks, alongside his predecessor Ramon Diaz, as the most successful River Plate manager of all time. Although he has quashed recent rumours about a move to Europe, there is no doubt big clubs will be watching him and other great managers in the Copa Libertadores to help bring their teams to glory. And so, Marcelo Gajardo's achievements at River Plate leave no doubt that South American football, and particularly the Copa Libertadores, will continue to produce some of the finest football managers in the world.